sometimes a sudden change occurs in a system. A valve is opened and water starts flowing, or a switch is turned and a current flows. For these sudden changes we can use step functions. There are 0 until time t and afterwards there are 1. In this video we will introduce these functions and we will start some first computations. So, how do they look like? We call them uc of t. What does this mean? We are 0 until time c and then we jump to 1. So the function uc of t is by definition 0 up till c and then jumping up to 1. So that's it. Now let's do some first computations. What happens if we do 1 minus uc? So 1 minus uc, that means we are 1. And then until time c, uh, the uc is 0. So we have 1 minus 0 equals 1. And afterwards our uc equals 1. So we have 1 minus 1 equals 0. So how does this look? We are 1 up till time c and then jump back to 0. So that is what 1 minus uc does. So we can jump back. So what if we start to combine this a bit? Uh, we have g of t equals u pi minus u 2 pi. So what's happening now? Well, the first function uh, starts at 0 and then jumps to 1 after pi. So that's what's happening here. Uh, 0 between 0 and pi, 1 between pi and 2 pi, and still 1 after 2 pi. What does the second function do? Well, it is uh, 0 up to 2 pi, so on this part and this part it is still 0, and then we get a minus 1, because we have minus u 2 pi, we get this. So we get 0 minus 0 equals 0, 1 minus 0 equals 1, 1 minus 1 equals 0, so 0, 1, 0. So what's happening actually, you can already see what is going on. Uh, with the u pi we make one step up uh, at uh, t equals pi. And with the minus u pi we do a step of minus 1 of the result if we are at t is 2 pi. So at pi we jump up to 1 and then the u 2 pi makes us jump back at 2. So what if we make some nice combination? So we start at 2, then we jump to 5. Then we jump to minus 1 and then we jump to 1. So how do we form this function h of t? Well, we start at 2. Uh, then we have to jump upwards 3 steps at t equals 4. So we use a u4 of t. So then we are at 5. Then if we are at 7, we have to jump from 5 to minus 1. So we have to jump 6 steps down. So we do a minus 6 times u7. And then at t equals 9, we go from minus 1 to 1. So we have to jump up two steps. So we do plus 2 times u9 of t. So this is how we can use step functions to jump uh, from one value to another by taking some combinations.